All right, guys, in here in the interrogation room. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a dark room here in the warehouse. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people were asking about nods and kind of an intro video to night vision. And uh, more than happy to oblige you. I've got kind of opposite ends of the spectrum sitting here, and, and we're going to talk about each one of these. Let's go on and flip this up. <clears throat> anyway, uh, right in the middle, kind of everybody's point of entry into night vision. If you're brand new to the, the world of night vision, here you go. Uh, PVS 14. I do have uh, Gen 2s, which uh, we carry the AGM Wolf 14. Uh, similar, it's a little bit lighter. Um, Still analog night vision. I think they're really good for the money. Uh, there are some some trade-offs there. You know, uh, also have the, we're going to be talking about the dual tubes. These are AGM MVG 40s. And I've been using these pretty heavily for a while now. Kind of as a test and evaluation demo unit. Uh, something that we've been using in-house. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to be talking about these and feedback. And of course, uh, top end of the spectrum here, PVS 31s. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, seeing is believing. Let's kill the lights. And let's take a look. So, first up, we'll go with the Low end here, Gen 2, the, this is what you get, second generation nods, move a little bit closer here, I got a map of North Carolina, kind of look around the room. Uh, the dark room here, fully enclosed, just a little bit of light, all right? The interrogation chair. Anyway, uh, that's what you can expect to see. So with Gen 2 and the Wolf 14s look like this as well. Uh, with Gen 2, it's good. A little bit grainy. If you're looking to get into night vision, kind of don't know what you don't know, it's a good point of entry. All right. Now, let's move up to PVS 14s. I'm going around in the dark here. So, you notice clarity is significantly better. So the image is going to be sharper. You're going to be able to see more. You can notice the definition on the map is significantly better. Let's get closer to it. You, know, you get to see quite a bit better. If I wasn't doing this one-handed, I could actually focus it. There you go. See how much sharper the image is? And that's the difference. These, uh, these are Elbit tubes. This is the Elbit tube PBS 14 that we carry. Uh, I want to say these were rated somewhere around... 1800 FOM, 1900 FOM, something like that. It's very good though, very, very good. And uh, PBS 14s are, are kind of where most people, at least most of my clients, this is kind of where everybody enters the world of night vision for the first time. And PBS 14s are, are a really, really good way to do it. Uh, there are some very strong advantages to having a monocular 
And one of them is, is just keeping a low profile. I can slide it down into my pocket, put it back up on my head. It's lightweight. Um, wearing a, uh, something like a cry night cap with it, keeping a real, real low profile. All right. All right. Let's put the cap on these and let's talk, take a look through rather PVS 31s. And there you go. Significantly sharper image. Uh, man, these PVS 31s, they, I think they topped in the, the FOM on one of these two tubes was right around 2,600. I mean, it's really crazy, very sharp. I mean, you can, you can see all the way across the room. You can see the definition on the map. Very, very good. But again, these are your most expensive units, right? And these are the current issue Marine Corps PVS-31 Deltas that we carry from Elbit. All right. Kind of giving you an idea of what they look like. Let's go ahead and put the cap back on. So I'm back in the chair. All right, <clears throat> so duels versus PVS-14, uh, <clears throat> monoculars, so on and so forth. You know, pretty much everybody's point of entry into the world of night vision is going to be a PVS-14, whether that's a Gen 2 or a Gen 3. And like I said, there's a lot of advantages to that. Obviously, this one you can see um, I have used quite a bit over the years. But... Uh, initially how I got hooked up with US night vision um, but duels you know where's the advantage of duels why do you want to be running duels because depth perception uh, driving in the video last night you know running IR lights on a truck driving is really you know depth perception is really where the difference is gonna be made and um, you know that's that's kind of the long and short of it but again, there's a trade-off. Weight, you know, these are bulky. Uh, these are these are super duper bulky, and um, really really good units. Probably ought to cover them up, huh? Good things these are the demo models. Nah, it's all good. They'll be fine. But um, point is, is that kind of know what you're getting into, you know. The internet's obviously going to be full of opinions. Some are going to be really sound and good. Others, eh, not so much, right? But uh, whatever the case is, just know that, you know, night vision nods are something that we typically uh, start small and grow out of. You can always turn around, um, you know, reinvest your money, get your money back out of them, reinvest your money somewhere else, and you know, go up, upgrade with the equipment. Uh, but night vision, just like with drones, just like with thermal, it is a battlefield reality. Okay, you, you definitely need them if you want to be a prepared, well armed, well equipped, well regulated, armed citizen of the United States got to have night vision all right it's a battlefield reality all right with that said brushbeater.store if you get any questions hit me up in the comments down below email me ncscout at brushbeater.org thanks